So we already made this super cool variable for Winston's eye size, which has been really helpful because it saves us a lot of typing when we want to change the size of Winston's eyes. Remember, before we had to type the same number four times whenever we wanted to change the size of his eyes. But can we use variables to replace numbers when they're not all the same? Like what if I wanted to move Winston over a little bit? I could change each of these x coordinates, but they're not all the same anyways, so I can't just replace them all with some variable. But wait! Once I assign a number to a variable, I can use that variable exactly as if it were that number, which means I can use variables in math expressions. So how about this? Let's make a variable for the x position of Winston. Call it var x. Simple enough. Okay, now let's give it the value of the x coordinate of Winston's face. So his face is being drawn at x coordinate 200. So we're going to say var x gets 200. Now I can replace this number with my new variable x. And when I change the value of x, it moves Winston's face, but not his eyes or his mouth. So to fix that, we're going to define the position of his eyes and his mouth relative to the position of his face. So the x coordinates are going to be the centers of all these ellipses. So his face is being drawn at, that's 200. And let's do his left eye first. So this ellipse is his left eye. And we can see that it's being drawn at 150. So right here, that is 150. And I know that 150 is 50 less than 200. So his left eye should be wherever his face is minus 50. So that's going to be x, which is the position of his face, minus 50. And now if I change the value of this x coordinate, his eye moves along with his face. Let's do the other ones. So his right eye is being drawn at 300, I can see. So this over here is 300. And 300, I know, is 100 more than 200. So his, his right eye should be wherever his face is, plus 100. So that's x plus 100. And now we just have his mouth. So his mouth's being drawn at 250. It's over here. We got 250. And 250 is 200 plus 50. So it's going to be wherever. Ooh, that's a 5. Wherever his face is, x plus 50. And now I'm going to get rid of these scribbles. Whenever I change the value of x, it moves his whole face. Yay! Now before you go, you should know a couple more things about variables. Once you create a variable using var x, you can assign a value to it as many times as you want. So after giving x the value of 198, I could say x gets 300, or x gets 150. And from then on, the computer would treat x as if it were whatever we last assigned it, so in this case 150. But you only need to type var once per variable. If over here I had typed var x gets 150 instead, that would have made a brand new variable named x, completely destroying the old variable x in the process. So all of these variables are gone in the dumpster. And then afterwards, the computer would only use the new variable. Sometimes you can do this kind of thing without horrible things happening to you, but I wouldn't advise it. So for now, we're just going to do it once. var x gets 150.